What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Fresh Friend Sports, and today we're going to be doing a prospect breakdown slash counterpart on Darnell Wright. If you're new here, make sure to like and subscribe button. Check out the channel for our draft uh, breakdowns, 40 list playlists on the channel, as well as positional rankings with over 30 to 40 different players on those lists. Without further ado, let's get started with this one. He's 6'6", 335 pounds, senior offensive tackle from Tennessee. Awards from he was first team all at SEC in 2022. And in 2019, he was SEC first freshman, uh, first team, as well as a five-star recruit. Strength. The first thing I saw watching him is his raw strength he has, especially in his hands. When he gets his hands inside, he keeps them with a firm grip throughout. He plays with great upper body strength as well to move defenders. I was surprised on how, you know, locked in he was versus Will Anderson, a top pick in this class. He just pretty much wouldn't let him go. He also plays with great footwork, you know, and is always in front of his defenders. Um, he adjusts his feet, trapping and bending his knees to take in ball rushes, which we don't really see from a lot of prospects, especially the bigger ones. Um, for his size, he can move to the second level and is a mover uh, when he gets to that second level. Uh, he will be versatile. At the next level as well, he can play right tackle or left tackle and has the size and physicality to play guard. Overall, anywhere at 6635, he can move defenders and be very impactful. Cons from though, overall, he's going to struggle against quick edge rushers based on his athleticism. He caught, you know, he's caught lunging a lot when he's matched against quick rushers. He has the grip to hold blocks, but he also is inconsistent. Uh, in his hand placement and keeping them inside, which I think at the next level could get him some holding calls. Pro comparison, I'm going to have to go with Eric Flowers. They're 6'6", 330 pound tackles, pretty much maulers who can dominate at both tackle positions. The grip and upper body strength really does remind me of, you know, Flowers. Uh, Flowers was a top 10 pick who was, you know, wanted as a left tackle for the Giants. Uh, his inability to pretty much stop quick edge rushers really did hurt him and force him to move inside, which, you know, is why he's a uh, free agent right now because he pretty much didn't stay true to his skill set and, you know, lost his skill set. Uh, I believe, you know, he should get, I think right should get some opportunities at left tackle, but if it doesn't work, he definitely should move to right tackle uh, instead of, you know, what Eric Flowers did, struggling for five seasons as a left tackle on a team that, you know, is calling him a bust. So, overall, I think that instead of, you know, degrading him, keep him at a place where he's struggling, move right over to wherever he needs to be, or overall, just start him at right tackle from the beginning. Team Fitz, I'm going to have to go with the Cowboys. With Peters not reliable and Tyron Smith, you know, having his, you know, availability injury issues, he might come in as, you know, a starting right tackle or left tackle for this team. Um, two first round linemen picks back to back, I think, is a great idea to bulk up this offensive line's pretty much reputation. I think Wright is, you know, a massive uh, pick for them and a massive player that could play with Zach Martin as a right tackle. I think if they keep that st side pretty much strong and bulked up, they can um, focus more on that left tackle that left tackle position when Tyron Smith pretty much retires and then uh, build up for that future. But overall, right now, I think I like uh, Wright coming in there. Or Wright could, when Tyron Smith leaves, he can move to that left tackle position when he feels more comfortable, similar to like an Orlando Brown type of situation. Draft projection, I'm going to have to go with second round pick. He could be moved to guard, but watching him, I see high potential, you know, of footwork as a left tackle maybe if he sheds some weight and gains you know quickness he could be a top tackle in this class starting um it definitely could be a starting you know tackle eric flowers had 37 reps you know at the bench press which got him a top 10 pick in my opinion i think in this tackle class where there's not really a clear flavor if he can get to that 35 bench press and probably have a five 5 one forty time maybe um, at 335 there's no doubt he'll be the number one tackle and he'll be a top 15 pick 
Uh, but obviously, those are crazy numbers. I expect him to have maybe a 5 to 5 40 time. But the strength part, I definitely want to see him at 35 to definitely be a top pick. And then a good showing on, you know, the senior bowl. So, if that's all, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. Check out the channel for a lot more content. If that's all, thank you guys for watching and peace.